Hello people, welcome to Exam Savvy. Exam Savvy is a site that has all the information related to examinations, scholarships, fellowships, educational loans and so on. So, if you are an academic or an intellectual, maybe you will have to visit the site often. This video is about to explain to you everything about nation, Nationwide Education and Scholarship Trust. So, what exactly does this scholarship test entail? SEMCI India conducts nationwide education and scholarship test every year. This exam is designed according to the interest, choice, and skill of the students of the stage in, in, in that of that stage in ex education. There are two categories of NEST: NEST one and NEST two. Let me repeat: SEMCI India conducts nationwide education and scholarship test every year. This exam is designed according to the interest, choice and skill of the students of that stage in education. There are two categories of NEST, NEST 1 and NEST, NEST 2. Let's take a look at the eligibility criteria now. The eligibility criteria for this test are the candidates who are bona fide and registered in reputed colleges in India. For NEST 1, the candidates must belong to first or second year college in the following courses Engineering, Medicine, BDS, BAMS, BHMS, BUMS, Diploma in Engineering. NEST 1 candidates must belong to the first or second year of college in the following courses Engineering, Medicine, BDS, BAMS, BHMS, BUMS, Diploma in Engineering and for NEST 2 the candidates must belong to the third or fourth year in college in the following courses Engineering, Medicine, BDS, BAMS, BHMS, BUMS, BCA and BSC IT, BSc in IT and Computers All right. For NEST 2, the candidates must belong to the third or fourth year in college in the following courses Engineering, Medicine, BDS, BAMS, BHMS, BUMS, BCA and BSI in IT and Computers More about the scholarship NEST 1 10 or more scholarships awarded in this category Rank 1 selected in this category gets rupees 35,000 as grant. The rest get rupees 25,000 25, as grant. NEST 1. Let me repeat. 10 or more scholarships awarded in this category. Rank 1 selected in this category gets rupees 35,000 as grant. The rest get rupees 25,000 as grant. NEST 2. 10 or more scholarships awarded in this category. Rank 1 in this category gets rupees 50,000 as grant. The rest get rupees 35,000 as grant. Let me repeat. 10 or more scholarships awarded in this category. Rank 1 in this category gets 50,000 as grant. The rest get rupees 35,000 as grant. Let's take a look at the application and selection. The candidate have to pay DD for the application fee. The candidates have to fill the application form that is available online. The candidates have to fill the form completely and send it across to the address given on the website. After all the candidates submit their applications, the selection committee scrutinizes all the applications and selects the best ones out of the lot. Once the candidates are selected, their names are updated on the official website. The candidates are mailed about the further instructions regarding receiving the grant. Let me run you through the points again. The candidates have to pay DD for the application fee. The candidates have to fill the application form that is available online. The candidates have to fill the form completely and send it to the address mentioned on the official site. After all the candidates submit their applications, the, selecting, the selection committee scrutinizes all the applications and selects the best one out of the lot. Once the candidates are selected, their names are updated on the official website. The candidates are mailed about the further instructions regarding receiving the grant. Let's take a look at the exam pattern now. The NESD has an examination pattern almost the same every year. There are about five sections. 
biology or mathematics verbal aptitude logical reasoning general knowledge nest1 physics and chemistry nest2 technical aptitude let me repeat biology or mathematics verbal aptitude logical reasoning general knowledge nest1 physics and chemistry nest2 technical aptitude other information about the about the scholarship the candidates who have won top prize before are not allowed to appear for the test again the candidate can submit the application directly or send it through courier or can send it through a friend the fees that get deposited will never be returned even if the test gets cancelled for some reason the candidates test even sorry test venue can be changed any time but will be notified the candidate will not be given any charges for to and fro tra traveling for taking the test the results may sometimes get delayed but as soon as they are ready the candidates will be individually informed the website will be updated about the selection in the results menu the candidates have to visit the website regularly and check for the information updates and the applications let me run you through the important points again the candidates who have won the top prize before are not allowed to appear again for the examination the candidate can submit the application directly or through a friend or courier it the fees that get deposited will never be returned even if the test gets cancelled for some reason the candidates test venue can be charged any ch sorry changed any time but the candidates will be notified about it the candidate will not be given any charges for to and fro traveling for taking the test the results may sometimes be delayed but as soon as they are ready the candidates will be notified about the results the website will also be updated about the selection in the results menu the candidates have to visit the website regularly and check for information updates about the applications so i hope you learned a lot about nationwide education and scholarship test thank you for watching more information at examsavvy.com have fun